Not even two years after making that video, I'm sat here making another relegation video. Right, so what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. As you all know, the news is out. We have been relegated to the National League and if I'm being honest, it's nothing more than we deserve this season. We have been by far the worst team in the whole of the 92 EFL teams. We have been shocking, abysmal. There's all the words to describe it, to be honest. But in today's video, I'm going to go, what actually went wrong? Why we are where we are? So, obviously, start with the three managers we've had this season. Robbie Sockdale, Jim Bentley and Jim McNulty. Um, talk about Simon, who we'll get onto Simon first because he's the main one I need to have a pop at. The recruitment as well. Players were brought in, players were let go, players were even sent out on loan this season. I just recall back like a few days ago because it has been abysmal. And the last thing is the future of the football club, what I personally think as it being a fan on club. So obviously, Simon Gorge, our chairman, he is nothing more than an absolute tosser. And if you're watching this, I hope you ban me next season. Until you go, I hope you ban me. Because I cannot stand to see your name, stand to hear your name, or stand to even come to mind your name. The things you've done, mate, you've done one good thing for this football club. And that's the Martin Howe situation. You've done nothing else. You laughed at Alfie because he asked you a question, what was going on? And then you shit yourself because it gets people to come round and batter you. I'm not surprised he did that. You are a shitbag, mate. An utter shitbag. If you think you can get away with laughing at him, try doing it to the whole fan base of that club because they will have your head caved in and that is a promise, my friend. You are a prick. I hope you leave this football club. You need to leave this football club. Anyways, we're going to calm down. Not let ourselves get too heated at the situation. But yeah. The managers, obviously we've had three managers this season, Robbie Stockdale, Jim Bentley and Jim McNulty, obviously we sat Stock Stockdale after five games, four league games and one cup game, uh, we lost all four of those league games and won the cup game against Burton, that's what got us Sheffield Wednesday in the cup, so we give him a chop, is it a bad idea that we give him a chop at the time? No, I thought it was the right thing to do, but looking back on it, seeing as Robbie Stockdale has a Better win percentage than Jim Bentley. Was it the right thing to do? Be realistic. But anyways, we have um, Jim McNulty for three games. Swindon Town away, Sheffield Wednesday away and Crawley Town at home. Uh, Swindon Town, we lost 3-0. Sheffield Wednesday, we lost 3-0. And Crawley at home, we drew 1-1. And then, obviously, we decide, out of all the managers we could have had, David Artell, people like that, you know... Uh, who else had been in the market at the time? You know, I believe we could have gone for the likes of Gary McSheffrey, Artel. You know, we had the options there. Rob Edwards, because he'd just been sat from Watford, you know, former Forest Green manager. So we could have gone in for any of them, but no. We choose a guy who's been a year out of the game, who's been sat from a non-league club. Of course we do, it's Rochelle. So obviously we bring in Jim motherfucking Bentley. And of course we had to back him. But I started not backing him when it got to around February time. I couldn't back him anymore. But we had to until he eventually got the sack. Bentley's first two games was a 3-3 draw in the Papa John's to Accrington Stanley, who, bearing in mind, could be relegated from League One themselves. Um, and a 3-3 draw up at Carlisle. We were 3 one up, so we did kind of bottle it. But, yeah, we, we've been poor all season. People say, oh, we don't deserve this. We're, we're such a good club. I've seen it on Twitter. We deserve it this season. We have been abysmal. There's no, there's no excuse for it. We have been abysmal. 
Obviously, we played 44 league games. Um, 26 losses. 10 draws. And 8 wins. we got 2 more games left. There against Sutton. And Harrogate Town. Sutton sit 12th in the league. A below Tranmere. Harrogate sit 21st. Kersinger's getting something out of it. Yes, something at Harrogate. It's too late to put in that fight now. It's game over. You know, the past five games for Rochdale have all been under Jim McNulty. And they have been a 4-2 win to us at the Crown Oil Arena to a home at Walsall. A 1-1 draw with um, Mansfield away. A 3-0 home loss to Bradford City. A 2-2 draw with Tramway Rovers at home. And most recently today, a 1-0 defeat at Stockport County. But since Jim McNulty's come in, he's played... Uh, not played, sorry. He's managed... Eight matches, I do believe, if my maths is correct. He's managed more than eight, I'm pretty sure. I think, let me check. You know, my maths isn't very good, I failed it, because I never paid attention. Um, so he had three as interim, and... Wimbledon... No, he's had nine, he's had nine altogether, he's had nine. But, yeah... Third manager, Jim McNulty. Now, he's obviously interim because we give Bentley the sack after Crawley Town at home, um, which was the best thing to do. We should have done it earlier. We should have done it after that Leighton Orient game, a 2-1 defeat to now the champions of the division, or Leighton Orient. Um, should have sat in there and then. So, obviously, after sacking Bentley, Jim McNulty comes in as interim. Obviously, interim means only until the end of the season until we find someone that suits us. Um, it's done all right. So, I'm going to do player ratings for this season. Then, I'm going to go on to the future for the club. So, obviously, we're going to start with the managers. Robbie Sockdale, 1. Bentley, 0. The reason why I've done that is because Robbie Sockdale does have the better win percentage than Jim Bentley. And Jim Bentley didn't even last his campaign at Rochdale. So, he's completely out of the picture. Jim McNulty, 2.5. Keepers, Richard O'Donnell, 3. Eastwood, 0. Ellis Cavern, 0. Defenders, obviously Jim McNulty was a defender until obviously the interim job come in. So I'm going to give him a 3. AD White, 0. Keohan, 2. Landell, 1. Reese Bennett, 0. Waste of a signing. Tobus Malarkey, 3. Cameron John, 2. Sam Graham, 0. Sariki, 0. You know, he's a long player, so I'll go back to Sheffield. Matt Taylor, 2. Dodgson, 1. Tumene, 0. Danny Lloyd, 6. Liam Kelly, 2. James Ball, 0. Dan Anshed, 0. Um, Meller, 2. Ethan Briley, 4. He'll go to Blackbird in the summer, we all know. It was supposed to happen in January, so it'll be at Eagle Park that season. Jordan Scanlon, 0. Henderson, Five, Scott Quigley, two, Loney from Stockport, so he, he'll go back anyway. Tavon Campbell, zero, Devante Rodney, Danny Lloyd level six, Tyree Sinclair, two, Odo, two, and Darren Egmanio, zero. So yeah, they're my player ratings for the season. Obviously, they're not the best ratings because they've all been atrocious. And you know what, actually? O'Donnell. O'Donnell is getting a five. Best keeper we've got at Dale now. If it weren't for him, we would have conceded way more. Obviously, with Jake Eastwood in goal. You see how he performs. It's shocking. But, yeah. The future for this club. Obviously, we're down in the National League now. 
are relegated to the conference football. So hopefully at the end of next season, I won't be sat here making a regional relegation, you know. But it's football. If it happens, it happens. We can't do anything about it. But the future, send all our roadies back. Simple as that. Have a good clear out of that squad. Because that squad, honestly, there's some players in here like Cameron John, Dog, uh, was it Doncaster, you know. They'll do well somewhere else. Easy knee bounce on Dell at Shrewsbury. Did well, did okay there. Danny Lloyd is way too good for us. He will leave, I'll tell you this now. Henderson will put his boots up and retire because he'll come back soon one thing and break the record And in November against Salford. He did. Um, but yeah. I'm going to talk about the low knees first. Obviously, the players we sent out alone. Tyree Sinclair and Savon Campbell was what a really a need. Tyree Sinclair was doing okay, and that was just like, oh, we'll send him out alone. Get some it was doing okay. Fair enough, he was doing shit. I don't understand, but he wasn't. And Savon Campbell, okay, that's fair enough. Yeah, send him out alone. But Tyree Sinclair, come on. Okay, so future of the club, who do I want as my next manager? Now, Tramway fans will love it. Mickey Mellon at the Crown Oil Arena. That's who I would take in as next manager. Mickey Mellon. Obviously, he got Tramway promoted twice um, in two seasons. Obviously, one from the National League to League Two, and then from League Two to League One, both via Wembley wins. So, Mickey Mellon does that experience in the National League. Obviously, with Fleetwood as well, I do believe, um, which is good. So, with Fleetwood and Tramier, does have National League experience. Um, players we need to get in next season. You know, I'm going to say, keep O'Donnell. The whole defence, except Matt Saylor, needs to go. So, keep Matt Saylor. So, O'Donnell and Matt Saylor are the same for me. Danny Lloyd, if he wants to stay, he can stay. I'd happily take that. Uh, the rest can go. Ethan Bradley's going Blackburn anyway, so... Cool. Strikers, attackers. I'm going to keep Devante Rodney. And if Ian Henderson wants one more season, keep him. I know he's past it. I know he's he's getting on. He's like, what, 38, nearly 40 years of age. Um, obviously, age is catching up to him. You've seen it this season. Yeah, he's 38 years of age. So, yeah, pretty much all we're going to keep. One, two, three, four, five players. Five players out of, let me do a count. Three, six, Twenty nine. So five players out of twenty nine are staying for me. Now that is abysmal, because that the season where we went down to a League Two from League One, I wouldn't have said that, but because we dropped off massively, I'm saying it. It is what it is. We we just got to look look on the bright side, but is a really a bright side. You know, the debt we're in, it's all gradually going to get worse as a fan-owned club. We need owners like that because 4.2 million in debt come June this year. And if I believe what I do believe, which is we had paid for a new training facility, which is a 5 million, it's 9.2 million in debt. Who's going to want to save us like that if we're that much in debt? You know, this football club... Honestly, I never thought I'd say this. It's got two years to live, maximum. Because if this continues, we'll be relegated from conference to regional. The financial situation is going to get worse like that because you don't get money for being relegated and the money's a lot less in National League and then obviously regional football as well. 
it's even less. So this club needs a massive change, a massive change. Oh, it's going to be non-existent, which is heartbreaking to say because this club here, this badge means a lot to the whole community of Rochelle, to the town centre, to the old people, to the kids. It's quite a lot. It means everything. This badge, this team, this shirt, the away shirt, the third shirt. Everything means a lot. And it'll be snatched just like that if things do not improve. It's really heartbreaking to say this, but it's true. You know, you got to be truthful. Obviously, you're probably thinking where I've been, work, and other things have got in the way. So I missed quite a lot of this season, but... The games I've been to, I've quite enjoyed, obviously. Mainly we've lost some more, but you know, that's that's football. You know, you support your team through the losses, the wins, the draws, the ups, the downs. <sighs> the lot, pardon me. <sighs> Fucking hell. Right. So if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already. This has been the worst season by far from Rochelle. Obviously being relegated to the National League Conference Football. But yeah, like I say, a massive thank you for everyone watching at home. And I'll see you. Well, Rochelle and I will see you in the National League, everyone. Up the Dale.